my olives welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name's olivia but you can call me olive make sure to subscribe if you want to see more from me i was going to wash my hand i thought i'd video it and try out the vacay bars so this product is a bard conditioner and a shampoo and i've never tried something like this before so i thought i would video it see the results the brand is vacay and what i love about it is that it doesn't use up any plastic as you know, I already have a lot of products and they're all plastic, so I wanted to try out something different and see what the results are like from not using a pump and liquid, but a bar. I can already smell it through the paper. It smells so good. They sent me the shampoo, lemon and sweet orange. This video isn't sponsored. They didn't ask for any content. I actually just messaged them asking if I could try them out because I love this idea of sustainable packaging. But yeah, my hair's in need of a refresh. If you're interested in my curly hair, I also have a lot of other curly videos about my how to style routine, my um, product collection haul. Yeah, there's a lot about curly hair, so go check them out if you need more tips. I will also read some facts off their website. So it says, switch your traditional chemical shampoo and conditioners for our plastic-free, vegan, cruelty-free hair care bars. Aside from keeping plastic out of the ocean, our bars can help your hair back to its original shiny, voluminous state by create, by clearing away residue left from the chemicals found in traditional hair cleaners. So yeah, these are vegan, no parabens, silicones, all that. I'm excited to try it. Um, they did say it can take a few tries until you get the hang of how to use it. So we'll see how well I do on my very first go. Let's jump in the shower. Okay, so we're out of the shower. First impressions, when I used the soap, the shampoo bar, I was like rubbing it in my hands, kind of in the water for a while, and it wasn't really foaming up or anything. So I was like, oh, it's just like kind of like a thin layer. It doesn't really foam up or anything. But then you probably saw in the video, after I rubbed my hands for a couple more minutes, it started foaming up and becoming an actual light liquid, which is cool. It kind of just came out of nowhere. So make sure if you're using shampoo bars that you rub your hands a lot and you actually see it start to foam up and then you can apply it to your scalp. And with the conditioner bar, I was a bit, I was in a bit of doubt because I was like rubbing it along my hair and it felt like nothing was happening and I was trying to get in all my layers because my hair is really thick as well. So I was doing this for quite a while and then I decided to get my brush because whenever I apply a conditioner, I brush through my hair in the shower. So I started brushing through it and it did feel like there was conditioner in there, like normal conditioner. I was like, yeah, I'm not sure if this is working, but when I actually brushed through, I could feel it was conditioned and it felt like I applied a normal conditioner. So I was prepared to like do a bad review and say it didn't work for me, but, but coming out of the shower, it feels pretty normal and in the shower, um, it was just a different process of how to apply it, but once it was actually in my hair, it felt okay. So VK Bars just recommended me to apply my normal styling products, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my favourite leave-in conditioner, the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore um, Black Castor Oil Conditioner. I feel like this has really good reviews from everyone, because I feel like black castor oil is an amazing ingredient, especially for thick, dry hair like mine. But yeah, I had to buy a new one because it's nearly empty. I've used it since I started going curly last year. I get mine from ASOS because it's never in stock in Priceline. But yeah, I just apply that all over. I don't rub it into my scalp, but I basically apply it all over. I'm going to use the John Frieda Dream Curls Mousse next. There should be a review video already up on these products from John Frieda. Um, yeah, I'll leave that link down below. I 
Okay, so after applying those products, I'm just going to brush through my hair with the Denman brush. And then scrunch upwards after you've brushed through. Some of you have given feedback that I should stop touching my scalp when styling because that can lead to frizz because I do struggle with frizz on the top of my hair so I'm trying not to touch like the top of my hair too much but I do feel like it will dry flat if I don't so we'll see. And then lastly I always put a gel, I'm going to use the Brio Geo Curl Charisma Gel today. I'm just going to go through and define some bits with the Denma brush again. Okay, so that's all nicely styled. Um, applying the products just then, it didn't feel any different to using a normal shampoo and conditioner. So I'm just gonna let this dry for the day, go do some uni work, and I'll get back to you when it's dry. Okay, so we have the results. Um, first impressions, my scalp, I noticed, looks really fresh um, and shiny, which it normally sometimes can look really dull and maybe a bit greasy from like too much conditioner but my scalp looks really shiny and healthy and I think that's from the new shampoo. I definitely got that kind of vibe when I could smell it and feel the texture of it. It just feels really fresh because it is like a soap. So it is got, I'm guessing it's got less chemicals and ingredients and it just has more raw ingredients. This is my honest feedback. This video isn't sponsored. Um, they, do, they don't even know that I'm making a YouTube video. So yeah, but um, my hair's really defined, probably the most defined it's been all week out of all my washes. Look at that. Um, yeah, and I thought I was going to be way more frizzy. And there's, min there's minimal frizz at the top, which is good. Um, I do struggle with that. And also at the back of my hair as well, it's still pretty defined. Yeah, I don't really have any complaints. My hair doesn't feel crunchy or anything. Um, I think all the styling products worked really well with the bars. I honestly, I honestly thought this might have been a bad review because I've just watched a lot of bad reviews about like the Lush bars and stuff but it worked well for my hair, I'm not complaining. Um, I think the only thing is that it is easier to just use a pump in the shower rather than a bar but my curls also react well normally to when I use new products. I have tried out shampoos and conditioners that my curls didn't react well to. For example, the Shea Moisture coconut and hibiscus range. I remember trying their shampoo and conditioner last year. I don't have it in my shower anymore because I just never used it after it. And I tried it out and I think it's the protein that just made my hair super weird and flat and not curl like this at all. So I have tried out products that don't work for my curls. So yeah, I gave that range away, but some products just don't work for you and I'm not trying to insult the brand or anything. Shea Moisture is like my favorite, one of my favorite brands ever. But yeah, if you've been wanting to try out Vacay Bars and you have a similar texture to me, I think you should give it a go. Also, if you're trying to reduce your plastic waste, it's an amazing way to help out the environment. But yeah, I don't have much frizz, which is really good. I do struggle with frizz, as you could probably see in my previous videos. But yeah, let me know what you think. Check out my other reviews. I'll leave links down below. And I also just air dried this, so I didn't use a diffuser today. So that's my review of the VK bars. I give them an 8 out of 10. Let me know what other videos you want to see from me because I have a lot more spare time now that I'm stuck at home. So yeah, let me know. Make sure you check out my Instagram. Don't forget to like this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next one.